I'm John Self, and welcome to Self Perspective, a weekly video cast with information and insight to help you manage your career and to provide some support and leadership. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, rounding. When I worked for Herman Affiliated Hospitals back in the 80s, and then subsequently when I was able to do interim CEO jobs, one of the things I enjoyed the most about being a CEO was rounding visiting with the employees, the patients, and their families. Now, I know CEOs across the country that just would soon have a root canal without xylocaine than go into a patient room. But you know what? When you run a rural community hospital, that's not an option. You've got to go in there and listen. Because even if, the, if it's a complaint, you have to view it as a gift. And sometimes you go into a room, and the family will be there, and their loved one is dying and they want to talk to you about the stories and remember that person, and that too is a gift. It's also important to talk to your employees on a regular basis, not in defined, structured meetings, but in informal conversations while you're around. And you need to, to talk to them about your values and the things that you hold dear, and the importance of quality and safety. We don't talk about that enough in healthcare. We still have a major, major problem, and, we won't get where we need to be until we really talk about it, and it's a part of our daily routine. And so when I rounded, I tried to make quality safety part of my daily communications plan. Now there's another reason that you want to round, and that comes on the holidays. And that's when you really have the opportunity to leverage your concern for your employees and your thankfulness for your employees so that you can advance the culture of the organization. I know a CEO that after early mass on Christmas Eve, around 8.30 or 9, he and sometimes he would take his older children with him, they would go to the hospital and they'd get a cart with Cokes and coffee and juices and they would bring special cookies and gift boxes for all the employees and Christmas cards. And his message was this, is this, thank you for being here. I had the pleasure of being with my family tonight and I know that's where you'd like to be, but thank you for being here and for taking care of our patients. What a great, great message to give. And then he would go home and come back later. And sometimes the CNO would join him and sometimes the CFO would come in and they would make rounds again at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning. That had enormous impact. Employees pay attention to that stuff. And again, gift boxes, little things of cookies and, and candies, a Christmas card, and a message of deep appreciation. I know another CEO who told me, he said, you know, I do that. I go in at six in the morning, I catch the night shift, and then I stay over and talk to the, to the day shift. And the problem with that is, that's rounding of convenience. That's not a rounding where you make a sacrifice to be there at two o'clock in the morning when you could be at home asleep or be at home with your family. Coming in and trying to do it for your convenience is not the right message you wanna send. And employees know that. In matter of fact, that term, rounding of convenience, was something an employee told me that their boss does all the time. So if you're gonna go to the effort to have an impact on your employees, make it count. Don't do it for your convenience. Do it because you care about them. Hey, I hope this information's been helpful. If you have some suggestions or want to comment, you can reach me at asktherecruiter at johngself.com. If you like this, this video cast, I hope you'll subscribe. Share it with your friends. If you did like it, well, tell me what you want to hear. I'm all ears. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.